Yo, yo, what's up my people? Jeremy here with episode eight of Next Level Students. Let's get it. My question is, how do you know what you want to major in before you head off to college? Okay, all right, so that's a good question. How do I know what to major in before I go to college? So you gotta ask yourself, and I want you to think about this now. The problem with most people is they wait till they get to their senior year or junior year in high school. I want you thinking about college if you're in seventh grade, eighth grade, if you're in junior high or high school, I want you thinking about your future. And so whatever you wanna do with your life, your purpose in life, that's what you wanna major in when you go to college. So if you don't know, when you're in your senior year, you don't know what you're gonna major in when you get to college. You can still go to college, but you can take your general courses. And then after being there for about a year, you'll say, you know what, I think I'm thinking I wanna go into pharmacy, or I wanna go into this or that. You know, but once you're there, you'll be able to figure it out. Once you get around some other students and figure out what they're doing in life, that might help inspire you. But I want your brain going there now. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade, like whatever grade you in, high school, I need you to focus on college, higher education. That's where the next level is for you. All right, let's get it. So Jeremy, who or what motivated you to change your life? Okay, that's good. So who or what motivated me to change my life? Me? I was tired of failing. I mean, yes, I did it for my mama. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to prove the people who believed in me right and all the people who hated on me, who didn't believe in me, I wanted to prove them wrong for sure. But ultimately, I had to do it for me and I had to do it for you. You see, I had a teacher in eighth grade who told me I wasn't high school material. He thought I was so dumb, I'd never even make it in high school. And I went to high school and failed a bunch of times in the ninth grade. You know what I'm saying? It took me three schools for the ninth grade. And so to bounce back and be successful, it feels good. So I'm like, hey, bruh, you got it wrong. I proved you wrong. But for a period of time, I proved them right. But at the end of the day, you got to do it for yourself. And so I do it for myself. I wanted to grow. I was tired of failing. I was tired of losing. I was tired of being the butt of everybody's joke. I was tired of getting left behind and seeing everybody else move forward. And I recognized one day I got purpose. I got potential. You know what I'm saying? There is more that I have for life. So I began to grind and handle my business and boom, things exploded from there. And now you are what motivates me. You are what fuels me. Now I'm looking at you and I'm like, shoot, the more successful I am, the more kids across the country, millions of students can look and be like, yo, if Jeremy can bounce back. If Jeremy could go through this and, and, and be feel like he was abandoned and feel like he didn't have enough and people wasn't in his life and he was failing in school and drug and alcohol abuse and he can bounce back, then surely I can bounce back. So I do it for you. So you're what motivates me. For every kid that sees me their high school diploma, for every kid that says, yo, I bounced back. I'm in college now. Look at, I just got married. You know what I'm saying? I just got a scholarship. You are what motivates me, all right? And so I want you to handle your business so that you can prove your haters wrong and the people who believed in you right. When you don't feel like working out, how do you work out? Like, when you don't feel like playing basketball, how do you play basketball? Like, how to just prove the doubters wrong and how to keep motivating yourself, like being about your business. Ooh, that's powerful right there. Let me tell you something. That's the difference in you being broke or you being a millionaire. People who feel, I don't feel like taking this test. I don't feel like doing my homework. Well, you're going to fail and your life gonna be a failure. But when you're able to push through the pain, when you're able to say, I don't really feel like it, but I've gotta, I've gotta be dedicated. I've gotta be determined. I've gotta be dependable. I gotta handle my business. That's where the power is. When you look at the greats in the sports arena, you think Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant wanted to take hundreds and thousands and millions of three-pointers? You think Steph Curry just loves shooting three-pointer ball? I'm sure he'd rather be hanging out with his daughter Riley. I'm sure Steph Curry would rather be cooking up with his wife, but no, he wanna be great and he wants to be phenomenal. So when everybody else is kicking it, Steph Curry's in the gym hitting the shot. You think LeBron James don't wanna just kick it? You think all these athletes and all these successful people don't wanna just hang out? I'm sure they do, but they recognize that hard work pays off. Repeat after me, hard work pays off. The harder you work, the more it's gonna pay off in the end. I promise you, it seems like it was just yesterday I was in sixth, seventh, eighth grade. It seems like I was, I was just a ninth grader or a 10th grader in high school. And I look at where I am now and man, how time flies by fast. But when you say, yo, I will be dedicated to the cause. I will be committed to the game in the end. I will not let circumstances shake me. That's where your power is. So I wanna challenge you to move past your feelings. Feelings are for the weak. But when you are determined, when you say nothing is going to shake me, when you say I'm going to put forth my best effort, I'm going to handle my business, and ain't nothing going to stop me from being successful, whether I feel like it or not, that's where the power is. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like flying first class. I feel like going to Hawaii with my wife. 
I feel like being able to take my daughter to Disney World. I feel like having a big, beautiful home. So I had to do what I didn't want to do and what I didn't feel like doing. And now I can do what I want to do and I can live how I want to live. It's time now for our next level student of the week. All right, so this week's next level student of the week is this young guy named John Jackson. Listen to me, his story is phenomenal. He lives in Harlem, New York, and his mom recently passed. Man, his mom died of cancer. Just take a moment before I even tell you his accomplishments. His mom died of cancer. They said that after his mom's funeral, he went to school and he aced his exams. He's getting ready now to go to Duke, Howard, or UNC to study computer science. This blows my mind and he has a job and he goes to work before school. What kind of dedication is that? This young guy goes to work before school, handle his business, then comes to school, and then after school, that's what he does. He tutors younger students that's into information technology and computer science. John Jackson, you are our next level student of the week. All right, so look, that wraps up episode eight of the Next Level Student Show. Listen to me, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you're an educator, share this video with every single educator you know. We wanna make these videos go viral. It's our goal to impact the lives of millions of students across the country. So if you're a student, share this with your friends and classmates, and I'll see you next week. Hey, what's up? I hope you enjoyed today's video. And check this out, you gotta subscribe because I've got so many more videos in store for you. And when they come out, I want them to come directly to you. So click subscribe and let's keep building together.